Hi, Martin here. Today I'm out here in North Las Vegas at the uh, pickup part up here. This is the larger yard that we got in town when it comes to pickup parts. And uh, a subscriber of mine let me know that there was two HO engines in Jeep Grand Cherokees up here. So I thought I'd come up and have a look. Well, I got up here a little too late. For one, the engine's gone on that one right there. This is a 03 model. And this one over here, a Lariat with an 02. And I'm like, well, that wouldn't have an HO engine in it, but it does. Now, I checked the VIN code on it, the eighth digit, it's an N. So that tells me it had a 4.7 non-HO engine in it originally. And someone put this HO engine in there. Now, someone's already went to the trouble of taking the valve cover off. You know, I thought I'd come up here and maybe grab the cams, if anything. And uh, they made it easy for me if I wanted this camshaft. But unfortunately, I can see why they left it behind. Uh, let me show you. Now, I'll try to get a shot of that. Um, and the reason they left it behind, you can see those caps there, the bearing caps. Here. I mean, I can run my fingernail across there and I can hear that real well. I don't know if you can. I got the microphone facing the wrong way. Um, but, yeah, every journal on here is it's kind of scored up pretty bad. And uh, I can see why they left it behind. I mean, you may be able to save this. You take some emery cloth, or like a scotch Brite cloth, I mean, and uh, run this on a lathe and just go over top of this and you can smooth these right out. I don't know if it's worth my trouble right now. Get this. Now, the engine that they took out of this one here. This would appear to be the cylinder head. It is an HO cylinder head right there. And the camshaft's gone. And you can see why this uh, Jeep was here. Right there, we've got a drop valve seat on the intake and when it did that it also broke this out here destroying the head for sure so it, it probably shot the rocker out you know forced it over and it busted this cast out but uh, even though this had a bad cylinder head Someone obviously decided that the uh, engine was worth taking, minus the cylinder head. You do get a steel crankshaft, of course, with the uh, HO engine. So that's one thing nice. High compression pistons, full floating wrist pins. Now one thing about the uh, North Las Vegas pickup part. You're going to notice uh, it's not as clean as the Henderson one. Those guys down in Henderson, they do a great job picking like all that stuff up you'll never see this down in the Henderson one they're on top of it all the time keeping the aisles clear of course one thing's nice you got the concrete out here makes it uh, nice to work on and roll your carts and you don't have to lay in dirt or gravel and that's how it used to be out here years ago and I think the EPA got after them about the uh, groundwater contamination. But we got a lot of Jeeps out here. And they got everything nicely organized. I mean, if you want to find a Jeep, you know exactly where to go out here. We got, uh, I think we got three rows of them. And then we got the uh, Dodge. Uh, Dakotas and your Durango's right over here the next row and then it goes with your your Rams But yeah, too bad about this uh, You know, I mean if someone wants a set of cams, they're still here 
and for $55 there are no 97 through 01 Cherokees out here currently got a couple older Cherokees right there's one and of course you're gonna find your liberties out here And one thing you don't find out here too often is any vehicles with rust on them. That's the one thing nice about here, out here in southern Nevada. And it's actually kind of a gloomy day out here today. Uh, we actually had snow out here yesterday. A little chilly, but not too bad. All right, over here in the uh, Dodge Row, check out this 86 Ram Charger I used to have the 84 I love that thing because it had those uh, indented uh, hoods but held water <laughs> I love the way that thing looked I actually had an 86 as well and uh, someone put a 440 in it I wish I still had that one and it was a uh, brown we called it Leroy Brown, fattest Dodge in the whole damn town. And not too bad a shape. Obviously, it's been sitting a while. You can tell by that tire there. And look at that. I mean, no rust, hardly. Just a little bit of surface rust right there. But that is all metal. Nice thing here, you come here and come to the back of each vehicle and they got the tag telling you what it is. 86 Dodge Ram Charger. Interior's a little rough. That is typical here in Southern Nevada. But you know, if this was out here in the rust belt somewhere, someone would have saved this vehicle. Especially with no rust on it. Ouch. Well, you know that motor was running at the time. As long as it didn't get any damage done to it, there'd be an engine. You know, it didn't get the crankshaft bent from that hard hit right there. So I have seen that before. But these 3.7s, those are usually out of here as soon as they get one in. So come in here with a sawzall or whatever, cut the front of this all off and pull that engine right out of there. Oh, talk about ouch. Oh, that one took a hard hit. Hmm. Ninety eight Dodge Ram. Not a speck of rust on it.
There's the two different throttle bodies right there. The one bolt and the two bolt. Right there, if you look off in the distance, you can see the snow capped mountains right up there. Yeah, I just thought I'd run out here to the Henderson yard and I mean just check out the aisleway out here how clear it is they do a great job of keeping it all cleaned up pretty much come through here daily oh, right there's a set of the injectors I like so much the uh, 12 hole on these uh, Ecotech engines that I run on uh, the 4.7 and what is this here? It's an 08 Chevrolet Malibu. I didn't know they still had that particular injector in 08 that late. Now, talking about a bad day. So you end up probably rear-ending somebody and doing, you know, totaling your vehicle, right? Now, what could be worse than this happening? Here's a clue. <laughs> Check this out. Oh my gosh. Obviously, uh, that's what they do for a living. Now they lost their work vehicle. <laughs> but obviously there was some paint in the back here. Probably a five gallon bucket. It slid forward and literally just coated everybody inside that vehicle. Oh my gosh. And I can see that the uh, passenger airbag exploded as well, it went off, and so both there was a passenger in here and they both got covered in paint not a good day and what do we got out here a 77 Plymouth Valiant uh, a lot of surface rust obviously someone was working on uh, restoring this vehicle and gave up on it and as you can see I mean there is no rust through on this thing got the slant six in it I haven't seen one of them in many years I mean, this thing is complete unfortunately the fenders got damaged somehow out here I don't know that, ha that probably happened after it got out here. The floorboards aren't too bad. I mean, at least you can't see the ground. And look at that. I mean, that's bare steel out here. And uh, just got a little bit of surface rust on it. Back seat still looks real good. But yeah, I mean, like, check this out. The trunk here. I mean, anywhere else, you know, in Rust Belt, all this would be rusted through. 
mean, look at all that. That is just nice and solid. Still got the bias ply Goodyear tire here. And here's the Jeep row out here in Henderson. These Cherokees anymore, they get stripped pretty good once they get here. They're getting a little bit harder to find. This is an 86, that's an oldie. Still in really nice shape. Or what's left of it. Uh, it's got the V6 in it wasn't known to be the greatest engine. Well, someone got that V8. See, I was like, I uh, was saying earlier, these three sevens, if they're any good, they're gone. And as you can see, look how clean this aisle is. I mean, they do a really great job out here. Well, all right, well, that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, If you did appreciate the thumbs up that helps out the channel immensely And if you never subscribed to me before please hit that subscribe button right down there and a little bell symbol right next to it And that way you get notified the next time I upload a video And I'm also an Amazon affiliate Please check out the Amazon links down below and you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and that helps out the channel Financially, I sure appreciate that Thanks again, and we will see you on the next one